Okay, so in question 9, they want us to use the definition of the Laplace transform to show that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So the definition of the Laplace transform is what well, it's um, the Laplace transform of f of t is integral from 0 to infinity of e to the minus st f of t et. Okay, so if we do that to both sides, we're going to get on the left we'll have integral from 0 to infinity, I'm not going to bother writing that down, of ut minus pi sine t minus pi, and the right we will have, well I forgot the e to the minus st, but e to the minus st integral. On the right we will have e to the minus s pi times the integral of sine t, the integral from 0 to infinity, 0 to infinity. Now, ut minus pi is a step function. It's 0 until pi and then it's 1. So it basically means that you cut off the part from pi to infinity of the integral, right? So you have e to the minus st, then it's 1 after this, so sine of t minus pi. That's the left-hand side. We're trying to show that that's equal to e to the minus s pi e to the sine t. OK. So I think we make a change of variables, right? So this is like putting that dt back there. In this right-hand side, we say we let, let's, let, uh, let t equal w plus pi, right? Because that's going to change the limits to being pi and then infinity. The infinity doesn't change. Um, and we're going to have sine of... Hmm. No, it can't be w plus pi, can it? Yes. Yes, it, yes, it, is. it is. It is. It is. W, t is w plus pi. That means that... No, it can't be. The substitution must be something like because we want to get this t minus pi in the sign, so let's try let t equal w minus pi. Okay, so then this this right hand side becomes we have the e to the minus s pi there. Then we have the zero to infinity. We have sine w minus pi. Oh, it's not zero to infinity anymore because we changed the limits. We changed. We're now looking at what now we're instead of using limits that are we're now integrating over w not over t. So we need to use w here, and what is, du what is w when t is 0? Oh, it's pi. So pi infinity stays the same. Yes, and that is the same, just with a difference using, using the variable w into the variable t, but that doesn't matter. No? There's something wrong. What's up with this e to the minus st bit? <laughs> In the other side. We're integrating over t, so that, the, the thing is important. OK, you know what? Let me rather try changing changing the variables in this one, in this left in this left hand side bit. I get, I'm going to make, I'm going to let the same substitution, but I'm, I'm just going to call it something different. I'm going to call it, you know, w equals t minus pi. OK. So this then will become integral. Now, when t is pi, w is 0, so we have 0 to infinity. And then we have e. Now, if w is t minus pi, that means that t is w plus pi. So we, here we have w plus pi. And then we have sine of w, now dw. Okay. Yes, now the, the e to the minus s pi bit will come out the front and leaving you e minus s w. Yes, that's going to work. OK, so that's what we'll do. Let's put that down um, more neatly. So we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to work on the left-hand side and make it into the right-hand side in this way. OK, so, oh. so the left-hand side was the Laplace transform of u of t minus pi sine of t minus pi. This question is this question eight or nine? Oh, this question nine. Okay. So we have the Laplace transform of 
u of t minus pi times sine of t minus pi. Okay. Now the definition of the Laplace transform says that that is equal to the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the minus st u of t minus pi sine of t minus pi nope, sine of t minus pi dt okay that's we can deal with we can deal with the step function because the step function is just one only from pi to infinity before that's zero so it's you know it only cuts off the first part of the integral from zero to pi and we just end up with this okay now we're gonna let w equal t minus pi okay and then if you do that the integral becomes now w is zero and t is pi and here we have e to the minus s times now t is equal to w plus pi so you have w plus pi and then sine of w dw okay uh, then this now is the same as if we take out e to the minus s pi and have zero to infinity and let's change oh, no let's not sign w d w right now that is the Laplace that's that is e to the minus s p and it's just the definition of it's the Laplace transform of yeah, by definition, it's a plus transform of yes, of sine of w. There's no reason not to call it w. Hmm. That's the right hand side, right? Yeah. You know what? I think I've just. I'd rather just, at some point, I'd rather put change for the t's in to make it clear, okay. So the point is that if e to the minus s pi, now this integral has, in terms of w, well, you can just change the t to a w. I mean, a w to a t, there's no reason not to call w t, if you feel like it, so that this is the Laplace transform of sine t, as we wanted. And that's it.